looking ahead on Marketplace, we will be visiting the Henson Robinson Zoo to see their new building for South Pacific animals. Plus, we will also be at the Botanical Gardens at Washington Park to learn about mulch. Hi everyone, it is September 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining News Channel 20 Marketplace. I'm Denny Harmony. Let's get into our trending stories. Up first, this is a funny one, kind of. So a family's cat made a very terrifying discovery yesterday. Hold on to your hard hat, folks. The bomb squad was called to a home in Dayton, Ohio. And guess what? It was all because of a curious cat. Yes. While the homeowners were busy renovating, their furry furball started knocking around what looked like a hand grenade. Talk about a catastrophic catastrophe. They called the police and investigators decided this grenade was real. No worries, though. The bomb squad planned to set it off in a controlled environment. And as for where it came from, that is a mystery, but we're pretty sure the cat won't be taking any more naps in the basement. <laughs> and where are my football fans? The 2005 Heisman Trophy winner Reggie Bush is suing his former college, the University of Southern California, for using his name, image, and likeness without pay. The lawsuit claims USC, the Pac-12 Conference, and the NCAA have been cashing in on Bush even after he left for the NFL. Back in 2010, Bush had to give up his Heisman Trophy after an NCAA investigation found he received improper benefits like money and a car. Now, college athletes can get paid for their name, image, and likeness. It's known as the NIL, um, and in April, Bush got his Heisman back. And finally, firefighters came to the aid of an unlikely victim that was caught in a tight space over the weekend in Oakland, California. Oakland, California, and you guys may be surprised by this one. It was all caught on camera. So a deer was in distress and it was spotted between a house and garage on Saturday and it was turned upside down. Fire crews responded like the total heroes they are, tying a rope around the deer's legs, lifting her up and gently turning her right side up. After a bit of teamwork and dedication, the deer was released back into her habitat, ready for many more adventures. The whole rescue took about an hour, proving that sometimes it just takes a little help to get back on your feet. Those are your trending stories for today. We have an amazing show ahead with the Springfield Park District. Marketplace is back in two. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.